they're also involved. No word on how this crash all came together, but it is blocking traffic in that area, so avoid it and give rescuers a break if possible. Deputies descending on a valley company suspected of hiring undocumented workers. More than a dozen people were arrested on charges of ID theft. ABC 15's Eric English is there live tonight. And Eric, the owner of the business, I imagine he's trying to sort of sort things out and obviously keep his business running. Well, deputies arrested 14 people at this meat packing plant behind me. By midday, dozens of applicants had shown up looking to replace them. The owner says while he sorts all this out, he needs to keep his business running. Workers nervously watched our cameras setting up outside the prime cut meat and seafood packing plant. For employees and managers, and especially the owner, it's been a tough day. We're not a big business. And when you lose half your staff and, and we've got orders, I've got to make calls to all my customers and, and try to explain to them why they're not going to get their orders this week. Deputies raided the meatpacking facility early this morning, arresting 14 employees on identity theft charges. Sheriff Arpaio reinforced his tough stance on immigration and justified his raid, claiming undocumented workers took up jobs American citizens wanted. We have an unemployment problem, 10% unemployment, and the people here that are here illegally are taking up jobs where uh, U.S. citizens could have. And by this afternoon, dozens of applicants came out to capitalize on the situation. It was all over the news, and uh, I just took a shot at it, got ready, and came down to see if there was any way I can get a job down here. If you have a meat cutting experience, you know, would definitely. <laughs> We're definitely looking for meat cutters right now. Prime Cut owner Chad Poppin says investigators took most of his paperwork and he still has a lot to straighten out after the raid. But he'll consider the applicants and hopes they can keep the business on its feet. We'll be struggling. We'll be struggling. That's, that's, uh, I mean, with the down economy to begin with, we were struggling already. And uh, this, this doesn't help matters. Now, the owner says he actually ran out of applications today. He says he's hoping to fill those positions he lost today with legal employees and keep his business afloat. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Eric English, ABC 15 News.